Hey there gang and welcome to your very first Go tutorial. Alright then, so first of all, what is Go, also known as Golang? Well, according to the Go website, Go is a fast, statically typed, compiled language. But what does that all mean? Well, first of all, compiled means that Go is compiled down into machine level code that computers understand. So it doesn't need to be interpreted one line at a time. And that's one of the reasons it's so fast compared to interpreted languages like Python. Now, statically typed means that our variable types are checked before runtime by the compiler, so type errors are picked up earlier. It's also a strongly typed language, meaning our variable types cannot change after they've been declared. So if you were to make a variable a string, it must always be a string in the future. It can't change into a number or a boolean or any other data type. Now, Go is also a general purpose language, meaning that it can be used for many different things from building web apps and REST APIs to cloud services. So there's a bit of something for every developer. It's also got built-in testing support into its standard library, so there's no need to add any extra dependencies to write your test, which is a nice bonus. And finally, Go is an object-oriented language, but not as you might know. We don't use classes or constructors in Go to create objects. However, it does use features like custom types, structs, and interfaces that mirror that kind of functionality. So it is an object-oriented language, just not in the same way as a lot of other programming languages. Now, before you start this course, I do assume that you already know the foundations of any other programming language, whether that's JavaScript, Python, or something else entirely. And I only assume that you know the absolute basics. If you understand what variables, functions, arrays, and loops are, then you're probably in a good position to learn Go. If not, then definitely check out my JavaScript for Beginners tutorial, first of all, to learn the basics of programming in general. The link to that is gonna be down below the video. So in this series, we're going to be building a fun little command line program which can be used to create and save bills for a cafe or a restaurant or something like that. So we're going to be able to interact with the command line to create a new bill and we can give that bill a name. We could then add multiple items to that bill. And then if we wanted to, we could add a tip to the bill as well. And then finally, we can save the bill, which is going to generate a text file for us with that bill correctly formatted, including the total at the bottom. And by creating this program, you're going to learn most of the building blocks of the Go language, like how to use slices, maps, structs, receiver functions, pointers, and all that jazz. All right then, so first things first, you need to install Go on your computer. Pretty simple to do. Head to golang.org, the link to this is down below, then click on download Go. And you wanna choose which version to download depending on your operating system. Once you've downloaded it, run the installer. Now it should automatically add Go to your path environment variable on your computer, but if there's an option to add it, just make sure that option is checked. Anyway, once it's installed, you want to open up a terminal to check the installation. And to do that, all we need to do is type go and hit enter. If it gives us all of these different options back, then we know that go has successfully installed. If not, there's been some problem with the installation and you will need to reinstall it. But now we have Go installed, we can go ahead and start using it on our computer. The first thing I'm going to do is open up a folder, just an empty folder, in VS Code. This is where we're going to do all of our work. All right then, so there is a package that you should install first of all for Go support in VS Code. And that package is just called Go. So type Go right here, and it's this one. So click on Install first of all. That should install pretty quickly. Once it's installed, go ahead over here and just create a new file, and I'm going to call this test.go. So it has a .go extension and press enter. Now, when you do that, you're probably going to see these pop-ups right here. So what I'm going to do, where it says GOPLS, I'm going to install all of these right here. And I'm also going to click on this one, install all. So make sure you do that as well to get the full support inside VS Code for Go files. And then once that's done, VS Code is ready and set up to work with Go files. 
Now, before we quit this video, I just want to show you how to access all of the course files. So at the right over here on my GitHub repo called Golang Tutorials, the link to this is going to be down below the video. And every lesson has its own branch in this repo because every lesson has its own code. So if you want to see the code for lesson 10, for example, you'd go to the branch drop down, go to lesson 10 to select that lesson, and you're going to see the main.go file right here. All of the code is inside that. If you want to download Download it you can go to this code button and then download a zip file which is going to include this file and any other files that might be included in different lessons so now all of that intro and setup is out of the way let's start writing go code now if you want to watch this whole course without YouTube adverts you can do I've uploaded it to the NetNinja website which you can find at netninja.dev so you can buy this course for two dollars or you can access all of my courses, including premium courses not found on YouTube, for $9 a month by signing up to NetNinja Pro. And the first month is half price when you use this promo code right here. Anyway, I'll leave this link down below in case you want to buy it now. Otherwise, guys, don't forget to share, subscribe and like, and I'm going to see you in the very next tutorial.